here we will try to understand DevOps through simple examples. We are talking about a cook here. This cook cooks very nice food and one day one person comes up to him asking for some kind of a spicy dish. So the cook gets into the job and he starts preparing a very nice chicken spicy dish. But the problem is our cook is a French guy and the guy who asked for it is an Indian person. They have completely different taste for what is called spicy. So what happens is when our French guy creates the food, it might be spicy for him, but for the Indian guy, it might be just non-spicy. In the IT world, let's say there is a developer called Bob and there is a system administrator called Tina. Now Bob as a developer is writing a code in Python and he is using Python version 2 for writing the code. Now developers are very very particular about the version of code that they are running. So after writing the code, Bob calls up Tina and asks for a server. Now Tina, while creating the server, she puts in Linux version with Python version 3 because she thinks 3 must be better than 2. That's how operation guys think. They think a later version would be better than the previous version. However, it is not true in case of developers. Bob will get lot of errors for this. And after a while and you know after spending lot of time into it, Bob will finally figure out the problem is not in the code but in the server that Tina provided to him. This kind of confusion remains between the developers and the operations people and that causes a lot of trouble in the IT operations. This is known as one of confusion. DevOps is trying to create a bridge between the developers and the operations people.